Hello, my name is Jody and I am going to show you how to bring your very own custom brand new from scratch model into Source Filmmaker. And if I sound like a skinny geek, it's because I am. In this tutorial, I will use 3D Coat, Blender, the Source Engine Export Add-on for Blender, VTF Edit, Milkshape 3D, GUI Studio MDL, Source Filmmaker of course, and Gary's Mod. Actually, I won't be using Gary's Mod because it uh, broke today. Thanks, Gary. This is a folder that I have on my desktop entitled Making Blobs. So let's open 3D Coat. I'm actually still using the trial, just installed it two days ago. Select the small ball. And when you start, it will be very small indeed. So click and drag on the magnifying glass. Then on the left side, we're going to select the pinch tool and right click and drag to make the tool smaller. Then simply click and drag to make this little weird bunch of stuff. That looks completely weird, so let's save it. File export export object. I'm going to put this in my making blobs folder. Let's make a new folder called blob. I name my guy blobby. Now custom sculpting creates a heck of a lot of polygons, so reduce the number of polygons in your model by clicking and dragging reduction percent to the right until you have uh, about a thousand polygons. Uh, most player models in Half-Life have around 3000, but this is a quick and dirty job we're doing. So, hello Blobby. Once your file is exported, go to File New, save your file if you like. Move your mouse over Per Pixel Painting and click the folder icon, then load your blob. Hit OK on the next window. I'm not smart enough to know what any of these options mean at this point. You might start seeing all white or nothing at all. If so, click and drag up on the magnifying glass at the top right. You should now be in the paint tab at top left. Just below the color box, click the brush. Give your blob a very serious face. This is business, people. That's pretty serious. Okay, when you're thrilled with how beautiful your blob is, go to File Export. Save a new file with painted or textured in the file name. Hit OK, no idea what all this stuff is. You'll notice this creates a bunch of TGA files you can use for your texture. Source models require at least one bone. I'm nowhere near smart enough to know how to give my blob a bone, so I'm going to have Blender do it for me. Fire up Blender, if it starts with a default scene, right click the cube and hit delete. Go to File, Import, Wavefront. Blender appears to be totally stupid and never remembers the last folder it used, so copy-paste the folder location from your explorer window. That's better. Now open your textured OBJ file. Mouse wheel down to zoom out. Make sure you have your blob selected, if not click it on the right side. Now go to File, Export Source Engine, and of course if you don't have this option available, click the link below, Source Engine Export Add-on for Blender. We don't want to export the entire scene, just your blob, so click Volume 1. Click Export at top right. Don't bother trying to name your file here because Blender will name it Volume 1 regardless. Congratulations, you now have an SMD file. Now fire up VTF Edit and click the top left Import icon. Double click the file that ends with Color. The other ones are used to make the model look good, but I'm not smart enough for that yet. So we'll just leave all this stuff alone. You will then see a window with your lovely, beautiful custom hand painted texture. Click options to make sure auto create VMT file is checked. Click file, save as. This will create two files, a VMT and a VTF. Now double click the VMT file and make sure the top line says Vertex Lit Generic. Vertex Lit Generic. If not, you will get an invisible texture that might lead to serious amounts of frustration. You may also need to correct the base texture line to Models Blobicle Blobby. And I will explain all this in a moment. Control S to save. Now, in order for these textures to work, you'll need to copy them to your Source Filmmaker directory. This is where I have mine. Drive I, Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, User Mod. User Mod should be configured automatically by Source Filmmaker. Now we're going to put the files into Materials and Models. 
Then make a new folder and call it Blobicle, or whatever the hell you like, really. Then click and drag to copy. So we have models Blobicle Blobby, and then we have models Blobicle Blobby. Perfect. Okay, our VMT is right, our VTF is right, we've got an SMD file, now we just need to link them all together. The next step is to fire up Milkshape 3D. File, import, half-life, SMD. Go to the folder on your desktop, double click blob, then double click the SMD that Blender created. At top right, click select, and then make sure that group is checked then click your model, then go to Explorer and copy the address for the Source Filmmaker directory. Click the Materials tab and then down here it says Vox MTL. Paste that into the file name, hit enter. Double click the VTF file, make sure you double click VTF not VMT. If you have extensions hidden it'll be the bigger file. Now in the bottom right window we have a fabulous deluxe smiley face on our custom blob. If you don't see a texture, right click the window and make sure that textured is checked. File export half-life SMD. I'm going to save this in our desktop folder. And there's Blobby. And again, I'm not smart enough to know what any of this means, so just hit OK. Our last step is to use the lovely and fabulous GUI Studio MDL. But first grab my amazing sample QC file here. Go to xdude.com slash files slash sample QC. Control S to save and delete the TXT. Open it in Notepad or whatever turns you on. Highlight your folder, hit Control C, then Control H and replace all your folder with whatever your folder name is. Then highlight your model, Control C, Control H, replace all with the name of your SMD file. Then Control S to save. Now fire up GUI Studio MDL. If this is the first time you're firing up GUI Studio MDL, you will need to configure your EP1 tools path. In my case, it's computer, drive i, games, steam, steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, and then bin. Nice, convenient, short address, thank you. You will also need to configure your game info path by clicking the add button. Then go to the folder, in my case, drive i, games, steam, steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, user mod, and double click game info.txt. Now go file, load QC file, double click your lovely new QC file, and then click compile. It may take some time and there will be some error messages if your model is especially sloppy like mine was. Again, just doing quick and dirty, but it works, don't worry. Then at the end you will have a very triumphant completed sample.qc. Hooray! Or whatever you named your QC file. And if you go back to your Explorer window with your Blobicle folder, you will see your lovely MDL file ready for use. If all has not gone well and you got an error, well, that's outside the scope of this tutorial. My sincerest apologies. Now let's fire up Steam and go to Source Filmmaker. Before you get too excited, let's launch the SDK. Let's see it in the model viewer to make sure it works. So go File, Load Model, go to your Blobicle or whatever folder. And hooray! Smiley face! I mean, serious face. Grrr! Okay, testing complete. Let's fire up SFM. Create a new file. I like 30 frames per second myself. Right click, load map. Let's use the stage map. Type stage at the bottom. Down the top left corner, click the plus, go to load animation set for a new model, add our happy little blob, and animate it to your heart's content. And if you want to have a heck of a lot of fun with it, fire up Gary's mod and throw it around. 
course you don't see that in this tutorial because uh, there was an update today and it's broken. Thanks! And because I am a very nice man, I've decided to make all of these files available at blobs.zip. That's xdo.com slash files slash blobs.zip. You're welcome. Yes, all the files in the zip are ready for your enjoyment. Thank you very much for watching this entire tutorial from start to finish. My name is Jody and I am a huge nerd. Have a lovely day. I know I will.